What's up everybody? Welcome back to episode 7 of Nightmares from the Deep. We are back and it is a brand new year, 2024. So for everyone who is uh, watching this episode, happy new year. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday uh, season. And we are getting stuck back into this series. It's been, a, it's been like maybe a couple of weeks. I record a couple episodes back to back so I could have some time off over the break. So I'm going to be getting back into this uh, series. So I got to kind of remember where we were up to. But from what I remember is we last episode, we started off assembling the blunderbuss and kind of navigating through the labyrinth with, to make the torch and do all of that sort of stuff. So we, we made it pretty far last episode. We also made it to the ship graveyard, which is currently where we are. Uh, and we're on one of the ships that that got a mayday call from the I think it's a cruise liner ship or the the ship that's currently about to be attacked by the Kraken so we have to stop that now we got a harpoon gun so I'm assuming that's going to be where that comes into play but we also have to we have to get one more matrix piece in order to use that and then we also have to find another tile for the tile puzzle that's in the in the room under the shark the shark statue guy um so yeah so we got a we got a few things to do we also discovered that the the fishman curse uh it wasn't just a punishment given to people that were kind of doing bad stuff we learned that it was kind of Maybe they were just the first people to get affected by the curse, but the curse was slowly spreading to everyone. So, it makes me wonder who's in control of the curse, because the... The the mayor, he changed into the shark. I don't think intentionally, so he was also affected by the curse, so that's interesting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna discover a bunch more, I think, um, moving forward. So... Yeah, let's get let's get back into it now. I can't remember what we did last, ep like what exactly we were needing to do from this point. I we made it into the rig of the ship. We came for here. Okay, so I don't think we've reinforced glass. I can't break it, but I can cut it. Okay. Wait. Wait, what did it say? But I can cut it. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Wasn't there something over here? I remember, yeah, diamond. Okay, I think we have to hit the diamond into it. Now we got the fish coin. Okay. So we, we can also get more backstory from the chest. Let's see. Can we use this? Hey! Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I have that gem back, please? It's probably worth a bit of money. Look, I be, I be ready to loot for booty. I am, after all, a, a pirate captain. Oh, that's right. His name's Murray. I forgot what his name was. You know what? We're going to go back. We're going to give the, the queen to the, the chest guy. So we can so we can learn some more background information. I'm, I want to get caught back up on, on the story. I feel a little bit like I'm, I'm out of the loop. So I, I want to get back into more more immersed into the game. So let's, let's take a couple of steps back. Let's see. Remember what we need to get done. So there was the puzzle in this room. I remember that over here. So we need to get the final piece for that. All right. So let's give him a coin. The siren was horrified when she heard about Murray's plans. Although she tried to reason with him, the mayor was adamant. Calliope refused to cooperate with the mayor, but was violently forced into submission in a spectacular show of power that left her exhausted for centuries. The siren created the figurine of the golden octopus. 
Ah, which okay. allowed a person to command the mythical monster, the Kraken. Okay, so yeah, I was wondering where that came into play. So it's her power in inside of the thing? Hmm. Interesting. So she made it. It wasn't given to him by Davy Jones. Just the siren was. Okay. Anything else in here that we missed? I think so, but this... This chair... Imagine if that spun around and it was a secret door. Ah, that would be pretty cool. Alright. Now, the thing is, is there anything else that I have to do around here? I don't think there is. Underground. Oh, what? Since when have we been able to do that? I could just jump around with the map? Hold on. Can we do it over here? Oh my god. That is actually so good. Because otherwise we have to like click through. Oh man, that's so good. So that that's an improvement from the last game because we couldn't do that last in the last game. All right, hell yeah! All right, so underground we got something to do over here, which is the book. Quick. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say this goes here. We'll go put that there. Uh, maybe this is here. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. This goes here. Then this goes here. This goes here. Oh, we need this to go here, 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 here. Uh, nope. Uh, well, those definitely connect. That doesn't connect. That doesn't connect. Okay, so it goes like this. Boom. Oh, we got another coin. Alright, we're getting some more backstory. So let's... Yeah, I, I actually kind of like navigating this way though. It feels more immersive. Although we can use the map to navigate if we want to do it quickly. I kind of I kinda like navigating this way. It feels more... I feel more immersed doing it this way. I'm, I'm walking around. Alright. Oh, okay, we got we've done half of the coins. Now. Mayor Murray seized the golden octopus and began to abuse its power. At his whim, the colossal kraken was invoked by the sounding of the gong and would attack ships passing near Kingsmouth. Damaged ships were pulled into the bay where they were robbed. And the fate of their sailors was... I love the tentacles. It's such a Greedy good way of doing fishermen, it. led by the mayor, became pirates once again. Calliope cried over the horrors in which she took part. Man, I'm... I, there's one thing I love about this game is the... Is the way that the flat, kind of 2D layered art style is done and how they're able to just kind of animate things. It's done in a simple way, but it communicates what they're trying to achieve in the story. Like, that's that's one thing that I think, in regards to things like visual effects and all that sort of stuff, is you don't necessarily have to get it realistic uh, to a, like, a per like, it doesn't have to be perfectly realistic all the time. What, what your goal should be is to make it believable and uh, kind of communicate what you're trying to communicate. And and this this art style 
kind of lends itself really well to kind of uh, being a an example of how you do that well because the the painting of the ship they they had the tentacle kind of come up and then they just used a just a simple fade to the tentacle having been drawn again but wrapped around the the ship's mast and like parts of the ship and that that communicated the story really well it's just oh yeah it's grabbed the ship and that's just a really simple way of being able to do it because otherwise if you were to if you were to animate that frame by frame you'd have to draw the tentacle kind of wrapping itself around and that's a very complicated thing to kind of animate so this is kind of like a our, our trick to doing to kind of communicating what's happening to the audience in a very simple way and it saves on a lot of time a lot of budget but it still achieves the same thing. And I think this is a really good example of how you don't need a big budget or really high-end, uh, expensive animation to create something great. Like, the, the, these, these games have been so good at, uh, at kind of, cr uh, creating an immersive story and kind of showing all of that with just, like, simple movements and stuff. And in fact, uh, I worked on a project recently for a client uh, where she she wanted a a waiting screen for her Twitch uh, live stream. She has a she does live streaming and she wanted kind of like a a, a waiting screen. Uh, and I kind of employed some of these sorts of. Uh, it was just a static. Oh, I see you. I see you. Nope. I see you. <laughs> uh. I kind of employed some of these sorts of things that I've uh, I've seen in this game to create her um, her waiting screen, and I, I incorporated a bunch of little little hints and secrets and stuff into it. Um, so I think if you if you guys are interested in seeing how to do this, I'm gonna actually maybe do a video on how I created that, but maybe I'll create something else so I can kind of not only show you how this kind of thing is done, but I can kind of give you an example. Um, by making it for you guys over on my other channel, uh, which is my, it's called the Wizard Tower. It's where I do basically, a, I'll be having a bunch of tutorials and kind of, uh, that sort of content over on that channel, separate from the gaming channel. So if you guys are interested to knowing any of that sort of stuff and checking all that sort of stuff out, definitely go over to the other channel, uh, and... Uh, hit the subscribe button, all that sort of stuff. Um, it'd be great if some people from this channel are interested in that and they jump over. Um, but yeah, I'm, I might actually show you guys how this kind of thing's done. Oh, oh I thought that was clickable. Right, because we go, we got it's static and we got movement and stuff. We got these birds flying behind here there's it's all just it's just layers of movement over a static image to just add to the immersion also i really like the reflections of this street this street is great get the reflection of the, the lamp and the lights and stuff oh and then the little ripples hold on let's go back we had a ripple yeah, these ripples. Oh man, this this game is just so pretty, man. Okay, okay, let's let's get back into it. So, what do we do? We put the coin in the thing. Uh, let's see. Anything else new on the map? I, th I think we've missed something, so we're gonna have to find what we've missed. I'm gonna go all the way back if I can find anything so let's jump down here the way all right so we gotta stop the Kraken let's go through here G'day, mate. You... You're not Murray. I'm sorry if I scared you. I've gone blind with rage over the decades that I've roamed this cemetery. Murray ordered the Kraken to damage my ship 
and then to pull it into this bay where the passengers and my crew were killed. Their persons and the ship were robbed of all valuables, and the wreck was left here to rot as many others before. If you free the siren, you'll bring peace to me and so many other ghosts bound to this place. Your way leads through Murray's captain cabin beneath. Help us, please. Release the siren and break the pact. All right, I got kind of distracted with what he was saying because I saw this and this. I probably should have paid attention because he told us what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Wait, what were we supposed to do? I forgot. Okay, lucky it's here. Okay, we're gonna go past the just captain. All right. I see you. Man, sometimes I just can't focus on two things at once. We've got Papega Brain. Alright. Rotten Wood. I won't withstand, withstand more than a few strikes from a hammer. Alright. So we need to find a hammer. Is there anything else in here? Oh, we got the bed. Codebreaker. Okay, so... Plus equals equals. Okay. Yeah, we got some mathematics to do. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Make another another rope. Something in there. Doesn't look like there's anything else around. Oh, wait. <laughs> Spoke too soon. What have we got down here? A hole that leads to the cabin below, but I need another rope. Well, we've happened to have that. Let's go. Hey. To read or so, I will take that door knob. Yes. Oh. Bitter to reign in hell. Oh, hey. Give me. All right, perfect. Centuries have passed since I sailed on the galleon as the captain, long before I was Mayor Murray. E ever since I beached myself, my wait, hold on. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I will edit that out and post. Ah, oh, I tickled my voice box doing that voice. Hold on, I'm gonna get back into character. Ever since I beached my favorite boat to find King's Mouth, I enjoy. Wait, hold. Is that what, was that right? Ever since I beached my favorite boat. He beached it? Or may, maybe it was just a figure of speech. Uh, I enjoyed retreating to my old cabin from time to time. Almost as much as I... <laughs> almost as much as I missed my galleon, I missed the good old days of piracy. A buccaneer should stick to what he's good at. It doesn't surprise me that all of that... Wait. It doesn't surprise me that all oh, that this King's Mouth scheme didn't work out. I even secretly part participated in bringing the town to... Ru ruination. I did not know that was a word, but apparently ruination is a word. And poverty. When the time came, I seized the opportunity and proclaimed myself as the mayor. I then called on the legendary Davy Jones and struck a deal. It wasn't easy. That old sea devil is cunning as hell, but I got what I wanted. 
I forced the siren to make the golden octopus. Then I became the new kind of pirate. One who could indulge in the types of luxuries only solid ground can provide and could still rule the waves. Not a bad plan. No domination or fish curse. Wait. No domination or fish curse could make me regret the decision. The common land lover life was dull. That I would do anything to spice it up. I mean, I, I can understand that. To return to those good old days of piracy. So he's just actually evil. Fair enough. Oh, be good old days of piracy. Freedom. Oh, what have we got here? Alright, we need another piece. So we got some more puzzles to get some... I kind of I kind of found my voice. I have to cough it up a, a lung and a half. That was... That voice became easier to do. Oh, hey, we got the piece. Perfect. And we got a new map. King's Mouth. My power has its limits. Okay, so there's a range. I cannot control the Kraken beyond the nearby waters. <coughs> we have to take each chance to attack the rare ship passing close to... Okay, so if they don't go within range, they won't get attacked. I mean, that makes sense. It's interesting that there's a range to the Kraken, though. <coughs> Is there anything else? Okay, we've got another puzzle to do. One of the stone rings is missing. Moreover, I don't know their patterns. Or pattern. All right. So we got a doorknob. Let's go figure out what that goes on to. Um, and we've got our oh yeah, we got the matrix piece as well. We could we got a few things to do. So let's see if we missed anything. I feel like there's something over here. Surely this is something. Maybe not. All right, let's go back. So we need to get a hammer. Man, we got a few things. We got this. <coughs> Wait, hold on. So, the map said that we needed to go to the cabin. Okay, yeah. So we we did go there. All right. Oh, hello. We got a hammer in here. A porcelain figurine. I don't know if these are porcelain. Nope, that's a nesting doll. Okay. Porcelain figurine. Take our our cloth and Oh wait, this is a a part of it. Is this the other part? I don't know what to I'm holding it, but now I don't know what to do with it. Okay, we, maybe we have to find... Oh, there we go. Aha. Perfect. Thank you. A rooster whistle. That's there. A stethoscope. I saw that just before. Where did I see that? That's where I just saw that. Uh, a ball of yarn. Right there. A monocle. Right here. An apple. Uh, look like a mingo. So there's an apple. A frame. Got one over here. A pretzel. Just her. That a pretzel? No. Nope. There it is. A purse. A 
Where is the purse? This one. Ooh, we'll come back to the purse. This one I saw here. A bow right here. <coughs> I am blind, I could not see it. Oh. I'll be honest, that didn't look like a purse. Oh, we got a stethoscope. Wait. Okay, are we gonna crack a safe? Alright, alright, let's go back. Pawn oh, shop. Anything to do in here? Do we do the matrix pieces first, or do we do the stone picture? I feel like we unlocked the... You know what, we're doing this one. Oh, hello. Alright, this is gonna be the sledgehammer, so we need a sledgehammer. There. A fishing net right there. A putty knife. Is that what this is? That's a can opener. So we need a can. An open can, a hip flask. Something's there, but I need to melt the ice inside. Uh, and the ship wheel, hip flask, a hip flask. Oh, there's a the putty knife. Eh, yeah. a squiddy. A pearl. We need. To, we need a shuck. It's this shuck the clam. Get that pearl. A seagull. Oh, clicked off. Seagull. A starfish. Uh. Oh, we got a reel. And a float. It's a float. Hip flask. Starfish. Starfish. Oh, right there. Perfect. Done and done. Alright, we got the hammer. Alright, we're approaching the half an hour mark. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to... We're going to use all of this stuff in the next episode. So basically this episode was collecting a bunch of stuff, getting some some more intel. So uh, in the next episode, we will be back and we're going to figure out what each of these puzzles are, what the stethoscope's for and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, but it has been good to get back into this game. I'll just like... Just like re-immersing myself into this game. It feels like it's been so long since I played it, but because I've just been so busy in the past couple of weeks. Oh, I see you. Uh, I see you. Alright, we we're getting some with these um these birds as well. But yeah, um yeah, the this game has inspired me a lot, like this game and the previous game, with some of my more recent work that I've um I've done like you guys might notice at the end of the 
at the end of these videos I have like a, a kind of motion uh, end title like end card screen thing um, uh, that was kind of inspired by these games I wanted to make some kind of moving thing but I've taken it a step further in some of my more recent projects so I'm I'm gonna do a tutorial video maybe a little like a breakdown video on one of my more recent projects I did for a client um, to kind of show you guys how you can go about making these sorts of things yourself because if this game came out in what 2013 and you could actually achieve a lot of this stuff for yourself in in game engines like unity or uh, in after effects if you just want to create an animation and that sort of thing you could do a lot of this sort of stuff um, and you could even make it interactable in fact you know what you could probably also do this in PowerPoint I reckon um, so I might do I might put together a tutorial on how to kind of create these sort of motion scenes and stuff if you guys are like inspired and you want to take it uh, uh, just like kind of try this out for yourself because Especially with AI, which is what I've been using in some of my recent projects to kind of create some of the visuals. You could use AI to create visuals. Um, you could draw it yourself. You could model it in 3D and create renders. You could even uh, do like a collage with uh, uh, photos and do it in Photoshop or whatever. There's so so much potential with this with this style. So if you guys are interested in that, I have a second channel which is where I do more. Uh, CG related stuff. I'll do tutorials and kind of break down some more CG work and uh, it's a it's a little bit more I guess educational than uh, Than what I post on this channel. So if you're interested in that uh, There'll be a link at the end of the video uh, Which is to my other channel called the Wizards Tower uh, Where I have all of that sort of content on there and I'm going to be posting more uh, as well uh, so if you go and check that out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, if you guys are enjoying this series as well, leave a comment down below on what your favorite part of this series is. Have you played it before? All that sort of stuff. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna actually put out a question to you guys. Which out of the, the locations so far, and I'll get free up the map, uh, which location is visually your favorite? Now, I, I'll be interested to see what you guys uh, think. Uh, for me, I would have to say it's this promenade with the with the reflections and stuff. I just I just love the the combination of the the greenery, the the lighting, and then the reflections and stuff. I just I think this is just so um, so pretty, so visually uh, enjoyable to just look at, and you can just kind of discover more and more details the more you look at it. And I, I love that kind of thing. Uh, like like for example, the anchors. As the 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 what do you call it? The lamps, street lamps. They so can I ring this? I can. I uh, see like the little, little details and stuff. I, I love that sort of stuff. And we have the lighthouse, always kind of visible, showing us where we need to go, um, what our goal is, and all that sort of stuff. So like this, probably my favorite. But what is your favorite? Leave that in the comment below and let me know. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to end it here and I will, we'll be back in the next episode to figure out all of these puzzles and stuff. And hopefully we get to fight a Kraken in the next episode. I feel like that might come a little bit later. It feels like end boss type, <laughs> type territory, but yeah, we shall see. Um, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching.